Euphoria, Wikipedia Audio Euphoria is an affective state in which a person experiences pleasure or excitement and intense feelings of well-being and happiness. Certain drugs, many of which are addictive, can cause euphoria, which at least partially motivates their recreational use. Similarly, certain natural rewards and social activities, such as aerobic exercise, laughter, listening to emotionally arousing music, music making, and dancing, can induce a state of euphoria. Euphoria is also a symptom of certain neurological or neuropsychiatric disorders, such as mania. Romantic love and components of the human sexual response cycle are also associated with the induction of euphoria. According to Kent Barrage, an effective neuroscientist, intense euphoria occurs from the simultaneous activation of every hedonic hotspot within the brain's reward system. The word euphoria is derived from the ancient Greek terms epsilon phi omicron rho alpha, epsilon eu meaning well and phi rho omega for meaning to bear. It is semantically opposite to dysphoria. History of the term a 1706 English dictionary defines euphoria as the well-bearing of the operation of a medicine, i.e., when the patient finds himself EASD or relieved e by it. In the 1860s, the English physician Thomas Laycock described euphoria as the feeling of bodily well-being and hopefulness. He noted its misplaced presentation in the final stage of some terminal illnesses and attributed such euphoria to neurological dysfunction. Sigmund Freud S. 1884 monograph Huber Coca described consumption of cocaine producing the normal euphoria of a healthy person, while about 1890 the German neuropsychiatrist Karl Wernick lectured about the abnormal euphoria in patients with mania. A 1903 article in the Boston Daily Globe refers to euphoria as pleasant excitement and the sense of ease and well-being. In 1920 Popular Science magazine described euphoria as a high-sounding name meaning feeling fit normally making life worth living, motivating drug use, and ill-formed in certain mental illnesses. Robert S. Woodworth S. 1921 textbook Psychology, A Study of Mental Life, describes euphoria as an organic state which is the opposite of fatigue, and means about the same as feeling good. In 1940 the Journal of Psychology defined euphoria as a state of general well-being, and pleasantly toned feeling. A decade later, finding ordinary feelings of well-being difficult to evaluate, American addiction researcher Harris Isbell redefined euphoria as behavioral changes and objective signs typical of morphine. However, in 1957 British pharmacologist D. A. K. Hal did not regard opioid euphoria as medically undesirable but an affect which enhanced the value of a major analgesic. The 1977 edition of a concise encyclopedia of psychiatry called Euphoria a mood of contentment and well-being, with pathologic associations when used in a psychiatric context. As a sign of cerebral disease, it was described as bland and out of context, representing an inability to experience negative emotion. In the 21st century, euphoria is generally defined as a state of great happiness, well-being, and excitement, which may be normal or abnormal and inappropriate when associated with psychoactive drugs, manic states, or brain disease or injury. Many different types of stimuli can induce euphoria, including psychoactive drugs, natural rewards, and social activities. Affective disorders such as unipolar mania or bipolar disorder can involve euphoria as a symptom. Continuous physical exercise 
particularly aerobic exercise, can induce a state of euphoria, for example, distance running is often associated with a runner's high, which is a pronounced state of exercise-induced euphoria. Exercise is known to affect dopamine signaling in the nucleus accumbens, producing euphoria as a result, through increased biosynthesis of three particular neurochemicals, anandamide, beta-endorphin, and phenethylamine. Euphoria can occur as a result of dancing to music, music making, and listening to emotionally arousing music. Neuroimaging studies have demonstrated that the reward system plays a central role in mediating music-induced pleasure. Pleasurable emotionally arousing music strongly increases dopamine neurotransmission in the dopaminergic pathways that project to the striatum. Approximately 5% of the population experiences a phenomenon termed musical anhedonia, in which individuals do not experience pleasure from listening to emotionally arousing music despite having the ability to perceive the intended emotion that is conveyed in passages of music. The various stages of copulation may also be described as inducing euphoria in some people. Various analysts have described either the entire act of copulation, the moments leading to orgasm, or the orgasm itself as the pinnacle of human pleasure or euphoria. Types A euphoriant is a type of psychoactive drug which tends to induce euphoria. Most euphoriants are addictive drugs due to their reinforcing properties and ability to activate the brain's reward system. Dopaminergic stimulants like amphetamine, methamphetamine, cocaine, MDMA, and methylphenidate are euphoriants. Nicotine is a parasympathetic stimulant that acts as a mild euphoriant in some people. Some textbooks state that caffeine is a mild euphoriant, others state that it is not a euphoriant, and one states that it is and is not a euphoriant. Chewing arica nut with slaked lime a common practice in South and Southeast Asia produces stimulant effects and euphoria. The major psychoactive ingredients aricaline and aricadine are responsible for the euphoric effect. Certain depressants can produce euphoria. Some of the euphoriant drugs in this class include alcohol in moderate doses, gamma-hydroxybutyric acid, and ketamine. Some barbiturates and benzodiazepines may cause euphoria. Euphoriant effects are determined by the drug's speed of onset, increasing dose, and with intravenous administration. Barbiturates more likely to cause euphoria include amobarbital, secobarbital, and pentobarbital. Benzodiazepines more likely to cause euphoria are flunitrazepam, alprazolam, and clonazepam. Benzodiazepines also tend to enhance opioid-induced euphoria. Pregabalin induces dose-dependent euphoria. Occurring in a small percentage of individuals at recommended doses, euphoria is increasingly frequent at supertherapeutic doses. At doses five times the maximum recommended, intense euphoria is reported. Another GABA analog. Gabapentin, may induce euphoria. Characterized as opioid like but less intense, it may occur at supertherapeutic doses, or in combination with other drugs, such as opioids or alcohol. Ethosuximide and parampanol can also produce euphoria at therapeutic doses. Exercise induced Music euphoria Opioid receptor agonists are a set of euphoriants that include drugs such as heroin, morphine, codeine, oxycodone, and fentanyl. By contrast, kappa opioid receptor agonists, like the endogenous neuropeptide dynorphin, are known to cause dysphoria, a mood state opposite to euphoria that involves feelings of profound discontent. Copulation induced drug-induced.
stimulants, depressants, opioids. Cannabinoid receptor 1 agonists are a group of euphorians that includes certain plant-based cannabinoids, endogenous cannabinoids, and synthetic cannabinoids. Certain gases, like nitrous oxide, can induce euphoria when inhaled. Acute exogenous glucocorticoid administration is known to produce euphoria, but this effect is not observed with long-term exposure. Cannabinoids Fasting has been associated with improved mood, well-being, and sometimes euphoria. Various mechanisms have been proposed and possible applications in treating depression considered. Asphyxiation initially produces an extreme feeling of euphoria leading some people to intentionally induce temporary asphyxiation. Erotic asphyxiation typically employs strangulation to produce euphoria which enhances masturbation and orgasm. The choking game, prevalent in adolescents, uses brief hypoxia in the brain to achieve euphoria. Strangulation or hyperventilation followed by breath holding are commonly used to achieve the effects. Accidental deaths occur from both practices but are often mislabeled as suicide. Euphoria is also strongly associated with both hypomania and mania, mental states characterized by a pathological heightening of mood, which may be either euphoric or irritable, in addition to other symptoms such as pressured speech, flight of ideas, and grandiosity. Although hypomania and mania are syndromes with multiple etiologies, they are most commonly seen in bipolar disorder, a psychiatric illness characterized by alternating periods of mania and depression. Euphoria may occur during auras of seizures typically originating in the temporal lobe but affecting the anterior insular cortex. This euphoria is symptomatic of a rare syndrome called ecstatic seizures, often also involving mystical experiences. Euphoria may also occur in periods between epileptic seizures. This condition, interictal dysphoric disorder, is considered an atypical affective disorder. Persons who experience feelings of depression or anxiety between or before seizures occasionally experience euphoria afterwards. Some persons experience euphoria in the prodrome hours to days before the onset of a migraine headache. Similarly, a euphoric state occurs in some persons following the migraine episode. Euphoria sometimes occurs in persons with multiple sclerosis as the illness progresses. This euphoria is part of a syndrome originally called euphoria sclerotica, which typically includes disinhibition and other symptoms of cognitive and behavioral dysfunction. Inhalants Glucocorticoids Fasting-induced Asphyxia-induced Neuropsychiatric Mania Epilepsy Migraine Multiple sclerosis